John Tyler was the 10th President of America, who assumed the office of President after the death of his predecessor, William Harrison. His most notable accomplishment was making Florida part of the Union. He is also remembered for his approval of the annexation of Texas. John Tyler was born March 29, 1790, in Charles City County, Virginia. He was born to a wealthy, aristocratic Virginia family and raised on a plantation. He rose to prominence in the early years of the newly established nation. He died on January 18, 1862, in Richmond, Virginia. John Tyler was the great uncle of President Harry S. Truman. The career of John Tyler included the roles of lawyer, politician, and statesman. He received an excellent education and graduated from the William and Mary College. He became the 10th President of America in 1841 and served for four years until 1845. He was playing marbles when he was informed that he had become president. John Tyler was married twice. His first wife was Letitia Christian, with whom he had eight children. His second wife was Julia Gardner, who he married just under a year after his first wife's death and with whom he had seven children. Both of his wives lived during his presidency and both performed the duties of the first lady. Tyler's second wife, Julia Gardner Tyler, initiated the practice of playing hail to the chief whenever a president appears in public. John Tyler was the first president to marry while in office. John Tyler belonged to the Whig political party. The Whig political party operated from the early 1830s to the mid-1850s in opposition to the Democratic Party and favored a program of modernization and economic protectionism. He was 51 years old when he was inaugurated as the 10th president. Five years after leaving office, John Tyler was so poor that he was unable to pay a bill for $1.25 until he had sold his corn crop. He had fine wavy brown hair, blue eyes, a large nose, and a prominent forehead. He was a likable, dignified man who possessed both charm and grace. He was an accomplished musician and enjoyed playing the violin. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. The Second Seminole War, also known as the Florida War, was a conflict in Florida between various groups of Native Americans, collectively known as the Seminoles, ended in 1842. Florida was admitted to the Union just after the conflict. In 1845, the U.S. annexed Texas by the Joint Resolution of Congress. Tyler claimed that he had evidence that the British intended to seize the unstable territory from Mexico, and he played upon the fears, should the British control Texas, they would outlaw slavery, damaging the southern economy. The signing of the Webster-Ashburton Treaty with Britain resolved several border issues between the United States and the British North American colonies. John Tyler lived in retirement in Virginia until the outbreak of the Civil War in 1861, when he returned to Washington as chairman of a peace convention. He died a year later. During his life, John Tyler suffered from various health problems, which included symmetric paralysis, dysentery, frequent colds, and a stroke. Dysentery was fairly common in the 1800s. It is usually caused by bacteria found in bad drinking water. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of John Tyler. He made Florida part of the Union and approved the annexation of Texas. The next U.S. president was James Knox Polk. This video is one of a series covering all of the American presidents and has been created by www.facts-about.org.uk as a free educational resource. This unique collection of videos has been developed to enable residents to gain a fast overview of the lives of each of the U.S. presidents, together with the key events which occurred during their presidency. Discover the range of videos that are available on the Facts About website and use them as a fast dynamic learning aid which will add variety to conventional study methods and help to increase knowledge retention.